Oh, wow, I was, um, you know, for some reason, this thing was not allowing me to get connected. How are you doing, guys? All right, good to see you. Hello, Jacqueline, how have you been? Hello, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Are you cold? A little bit, yes. A little bit. Yeah, it's been cold. It hasn't rained here, like for some reason, you know, I have no idea why we haven't gotten any rain, but, um, but yeah, it's, it's been, I, the weather has been really nice today. I, I've, I've uh, you know, I liked it a lot. Yeah. All mm -hmm. right. Very good. Uh, Patti Estrada, how are you? How have you been? Hi, teacher. Uh, um, I'm sorry, I don't, uh, I don't have a class. You, you don't have a class? What do you mean? Uh, you um, the, the last weekend. You did not have a class. You mean you couldn't join to the class last weekend or you did, I'm not understanding. I, 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 I have, I, I don't go. I don't go. In I, the class. I went. I, I didn't, I'm I, sorry. <laughs> I am. You're, you're trying to say that you did not join this class, like the, the class, like this class right here. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, uh-huh. Falte. Yeah, I missed, okay, you, that, you say I missed the I, class. I missed the class. Okay, two. I missed the <laughs> class. You missed the two classes, oh wow, okay. Very good, guys. So, uh, welcome, everybody. Welcome, Ricardo, Mauricio, Ana. Oh, my God, where is everybody else? <laughs> Did they have issues joining? I had issues joining, guys. I don't know what, what happened. Hold on. All right. Maybe because they have not seen Cheyenne today. So I'm going to send them. There you go. <laughs> All right. That's motivation for joining, guys. All right. <laughs> All right, very good. So uh, let's continue, guys, where we left off yesterday. Okay, so we have to finish, guys. Section number two. Guys, have you all finished uh, section number one? Yes. Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay. Very, very, very good. Okay. All right, guys. So, um, so yesterday, guys, we saw, you know, how to use infinitives and gerunds for, um, for purposes, right? For, for, uh, for uses and purposes. So let's do a quick review, guys, before, <laughs> before we see, <coughs> I'm sorry. Before we see the answers for the knowledge check, okay? All right, so uh, first up, guys, what is the difference? So do we use, my first question that I got for you, do we use, do we use uh, infinitive and gerunds, guys, for uses and purposes um, for the same, for the same purpose? <laughs> so do they, do so, so, so is it the same, guys? Is it the same if I say I use, my computer for watching Netflix. Okay, is this the same as saying I use my computer to watch Netflix? Are these uh, are these the same? Yes. Yes, yes the same. guys. Uh -huh. These are exactly the same, right? So yes, the usage is exactly the same, right? So now, what is the only thing that changes, guys? So if I use for, for, am I? Um, what am I gonna use? What form of the uh, verb am I going to use? In the verb, you have to add ing. Ing, okay. So, uh -huh. so four plus a gerund, okay. And if I use two, guys, what form of the verb am I going to use? Infinitive. Okay, I'm going to use an infinitive. Very infinitive. good job, guys. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm going to use two plus the base form of the verb, okay. Okay, guys, so have you finished this exercise, 2.2? Yes. Yes. Yes, very good. So let's go through the answers yes. so everybody can get to see what those are. Okay, so answer number one, Mauricio, let's go. Hello, Mauricio, welcome. Thank good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, uh -huh. sat 
satellites. Sa sa satellites are used are used uh, to study the work. Uh, the number one to study the world's weather. To study the world's weather. Very good job. Okay. All right. Number two, robots are sometimes used. I Ricardo Ramirez. Is for performing dangerous tasks. Okay, for performing, right, for performing dangerous, dangerous tasks. tasks. Very good job. Okay, number three. All right, uh, Isaac, Mo, Isaac Morales. Number three. Okay, you can use a cell phone uh, to send text message. Very good. Okay, so you can use a cell phone to send text Two. to send text messages. Okay, very good. Can I say you can use a cell phone for sending text messages? Would that be okay? Yes? No? Yes, yes because we can have yes. boring things. I, okay, I mean, we don't have that type of answer here, right? There is like the answer is not there, but yes, guys, you could say, you could absolutely say you can use a cell phone uh, for sending text messages right remember we use both of them exactly for the same thing the only thing that changes is the structure of the verb okay that is the only difference between them two everything else i mean it it means exactly the same right very good number four uh patty uh, you you are muted patty no sonido Sorry, teacher, I don't have a question. Okay, what? You don't have the yes, answer. Yes, I don't have uh, the answer, please. Oh, okay, all right, try to read them and tell me what you think the answer is. Uh, the uh, for, uh, People use the internet for for making travel reservation. Very good job. Okay, people use the internet for making travel reservations. Very good job. Jacqueline, number five. DNA being during planning is used to identify criminals. Okay, used. All right, not used, it, used, yes. okay. It's used to identify okay. criminals, okay. Are you to identify criminals? Criminals. How do you spell it? With double M or just one M? Criminals. No, just one M. one M. Criminals. Yeah, it's only one, guys. Okay. I was typing it into because of my muscle memory. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, very well done. Okay. So, number six. Uh, number six, Anna. <coughs> The answer is the tree for storing an encyclopedia. Okay, for storing an encyclopedia. Repeat, encyclopedia. For, for storing an encyclopedia. 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 Very good. Okay, good job. Bless for you guys. Woohoo! Very good. well done. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> <coughs> Jesus Christ. All right, so we're going to take a look, guys, at the syllables. Man tequila. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, don't give me ideas. Because <laughs> I will do it. All right, very good, guys. So, um, so pronunciation, guys, okay? I don't know if this is, this might be like too small to you. Let's see. Yeah, it's it's kind of small, guys. Anyways, so now, guys, in these words, guys, you're gonna notice the the syllable that each of them has. Okay, all right. Uh, mostly, guys, because of you know how long we have to to how long we have to stress that vowel sound. You know. So in the first one, guys. Okay, we see something like this. Okay, do you remember the example? Da 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 da. -da. Do you remember that? Yeah. Okay, so this yeah, yeah. one, guys, okay, right? Da -da. All right, so this one is going to be this, right? Da -da. Uh -uh, da -da. Da -da. Okay, all right, so 
So which one? Okay. So how will you say this, guys? Would you say like da da da, da da da, or or how do how will you say it? Da da da. Da da da. Da Right. Da da da. Very good. Okay. Da da da. Okay. All right. So. All right. So let's get some. All right. No, no, it's not solidity. No. No. Repeat. Satellite. It's three syllables, guys. Okay. Satellite. Repeat. Satellite. Satellite. Da da da. Da da da. Satellite. 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 Okay, everybody, everybody, let's pronounce it, right? Let's pronounce it. Satellite. Satellite. Okay. All right. Internet. 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 Now, okay, just just a quick tip, guys. When you have a T, I mean, when you have an N and a T together, in between, all right, these, the T is not pronounced, okay? So you will read it like this. You will read like Internet. Okay. Internet. All right. Internet. 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 Okay. Internet. 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 Good job. Internet. Okay, Internet. Yes, guys. Internet. So this is this is called the liaison, guys. Okay. Internet. Okay. Because Internet. both of them are that's Internet. a dental labial sound, right? Internet. Right. Anyways, whatever. Internet. That's that's a different topic. Okay. So, oh. Internet. Okay. Now, next one. How do you think it's it's three syllables? Okay. So how do you think that you pronounce the next one? Photograph. 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 Okay. All right. Photograph. Don't say photograph. photograph. Right. No. Photograph. 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 Okay. Photograph. Photograph. Very good. Photograph. Okay. All right. So, so see you guys, this starts with a higher stress on the first syllable and then it falls. It falls. Right. So do my favor. Write down, guys, this vocabulary because, I mean, when we practice, guys, you're going to be using them and I want to make sure that you're pronouncing this correct. Okay. So that is... That is the first example, okay? So now let's uh, move on to the next one, okay? What about this, okay? It is... So how do you think that you pronounce this? Oh, yeah. Right, that 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 actually that that right, that that right, very good, that that right, that 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 very good, okay, so that that okay, very good, okay, that that very good, okay, that that actually that's that's it, that that very good, that that all right, so invention, repeat invention, invention, okay, all right, next one guys, okay, next one is composed by three syllables as well. Right. Assignment. 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 Okay. Assignment. All right. Computer. 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 Okay. Very good. Okay. Now the next one, guys. All right. And the next one has the strongest intonation in the last syllable. Okay. This one, for example. So this is. <coughs> this is like this, right? Da 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 da. Da da da, very good. Okay, da da da, right? This one is da da da, da da da, right? CD room, repeat CD room, CD room, room. Okay, very good. Engineer, repeat engineer, engineer, engineer. Okay, entertain, 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 entertain. Okay, remember, guys, you don't have to say entertain. I mean, it is correct, but you don't have to say that. Why? Why is it that? Why? Why do you don't have to say that, guys? Because, okay, uh, because remember, when you have an N and a T, you erase the T, right? You don't pronounce the T. Entertain. 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 Okay. Entertain. All right. Entertain. This happens, guys. This happens with other vowels as well. Entertain. If you say. This word, guys, how would you pronounce this? How would you pronounce it? Bomber. Okay, actually, guys, you pronounce it bomber. 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 Okay. Bomber. Now, why do you pronounce it bomber? It's a bomber because bomber. the M and the B are bilabial sounds. That means, guys, that I, you have to take a look at my lips, okay? So, uh, so it means that that you, you you put your two lips together. Mm. When you say the letter M, 
Mm-hmm. Right? You use both of your lips, right? When you say when you say ba 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 ba, you also use the same your lips, right? So this vowel disappears because bomber. you're using the same place of articulation, right? So bomber, not bomber, 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 right? Bomber. Internet, bomber. right? The N, the Internet. N, the N, your tongue, right? Your tongue goes behind your teeth when you say N. N, B, N, T. N, right? And T. If you pronounce the T, it also goes behind your teeth, right? N, T, right? They both use, you know, the, your tongue, right? Goes behind your teeth. So that's the same place of articulation too. So that's why, you know, that disappears, right? Anyways, guys, that was an extra tip for you to learn how to pronounce okay all right so let's take a look guys at the following uh words okay so first of all guys how many syllables does languages have understand language, language. three three languages languages okay that's language. three syllables three. very good three what about this one Understand. 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 Very good job. Okay. What about this one? Robotics. Three. And this one? Robotics. All of them have three syllables, guys. Okay. Okay, guys. So, so we're gonna use guys. Okay. So, where do you think that the stress goes in these syllables? Okay. All right. So, where is the stress in in this word, guys? <laughs> Languages. Languages. So, Languages. Thank you. At okay. the first. So what is it? Is it da rara, da rara, or da da da? Da da da. Da da da. Da da da. Da da da. Languages, right? It is da. Languages. All right. So is it on the first, second, or third syllable? First. Yeah, first, first. Okay, it is on the first. Okay, very good job, right? Very good. Languages, right? Repeat, guys. Languages. 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 Okay. Very good. Okay, so first syllable. All right. Very good. What about the second one? Understand, okay? This is not understand. This is understand. I mean, what syllable do you hear the, the strongest Stress. Under. 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 The, the third one, right? Understand. Okay, everybody understand. 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 No, guys, it's not understand, right? That's why we're learning this, so you don't say understand. You say understand. 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 Okay, very good. Understand. All right, robotics. Where do you hear the uh robotics? <laughs> the strongest intonation. In this second robotics. Very good job, okay? Robotics. Second syllable. All right, telephone. Where do you feed do, where do you hear it? The first. The first telephone. telephone. The first. The first. Okay, yeah, it's because it's not telephone or it's not telephone, right? Telephone, right? First telephone. Syllable. Syllable. All right. Uh transmission. Where do you hear it? The, the second. 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 Transmission. Transmission. Very good job. Second <laughs> syllable. VCR. Where do you hear it? The terror. Very good job. VCR. VCR. V C R. The last one, right? Okay, third the syllable. Okay. Syllable. Very good, guys. Okay. Very well done. All right. Any questions regarding this? All right. No. All right. So it's just this vocabulary, guys. Okay. Write it down. And remember the um, the, the stress of the words, right? So you were right, guys. Okay. So at the end of the sentence, you, all of them were correct, guys. Absolutely amazing job. All right. And that concludes that section specifically. Okay. <clears throat> All right, guys. So now we're going to talk about can I borrow? Okay. Teacher, yes. teacher. Tell me. Yeah, uh, I have a dough there. Here. Can you, can you explain uh, uh, how can we use if you uh, go down in this, in, in this, uh, 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 in this film, or here it says uh, write your answer in your discussion box? Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> the discussion box is this, guys. You click what on. What does add. we have to do here? You you click on add post. I mean, this is this is optional, guys. What I do is that I tell you, hey, you know what? Send me the answers in the chat room, okay? Mm -hmm. 
So don't worry about that. You okay. can leave, you can, I mean, if you want to practice, you can leave your answer here. See, that's what it means. You can okay. post your answer there. But what I do is that I tell, hey, you know what? Let's practice. Okay, so I make you practice in a different way because I don't really, these guys, this is not taken into consideration for the final score of your, of the platform, okay? What is taken into consideration are the tests. Anything okay. that is, that gives a score is taken into consideration. This is only for the practice too, or to, we have to, <laughs> that's, yes, to write that's on, something, or something like that. Yes, that's only for practice purposes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, uh, but yes, good question guys. All right. All right. Very good guys. So we're moving guys faster because we need to reach section number three. And these are very short topics. So we, we really don't spend too long explaining these topics. Okay. So we're going to listen to conversation guys. Okay. And I want you to notice guys, I want you to understand how we use the term borrow. Okay. Because there is a difference between borrow. Okay. So let me explain okay. to you real quick. Okay. So in Spanish, guys, we usually say, hey, prestame eso, right? We actually say, mm -hmm. like, lend, right? All right, lend me that, okay? Okay, okay. so Bye. if you say, I can, if you say, can you lend me your pen, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, can you lend me your pen? This is actually, guys, just like we say it in Spanish. People don't say like that in America, okay? All right, this is actually, can you lend me money, okay? All right, this is actually used for money, but you can use it for other things as well. Anyways, guys, okay, so this is how we say it, okay? Can you lend me money, right? Now, if you're gonna, if you're gonna ask, okay, if you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna ask for a pen, if you're gonna ask for anything, guys, you actually say, can. Now, you have to think about it like this, okay? You are, you have to think about who's gonna be the receiver of the action. Who's asking for money? Are you asking for money or, or, or I mean, who's asking for a pen or whatever? Uh, who's asking for something, guys? Am I asking for something? So if I tell my, if I say, if I tell Anna, Anna, all right, um, I wanna, I want you, okay. So I want, I want your pen. Who wants the pen? Do I want the pen or does Anna want, uh, want the pen for me? <coughs> Sorry, more. Slow, what's <laughs> right, Very good. Repeat, please. Yes, Slowly. yes. So if I if I <laughs> want, okay. So if I want Anna's pen, who wants the pen? Anna or me? You. I want you. the pen, right? Yeah. So when you think yeah. about borrow, guys, okay. When you think about borrow, you have to think about who is making the request, okay? You have to think about what. All right, Person. who is making the Such request, okay? All right, so who's making the request, guys? So I, I am making the request, right? So I say, so if I want to borrow, can I, not can you, can I, right? I, I, I need your pen, okay? So can I borrow your pen? Your all right, this means, all pen. right, this is like saying, right, me puedes prestar tu lapicero, right? But instead of can you, I say, can I borrow your pen? Borrow means pedir prestado. Got it? Can I borrow your pen? Can, can I, borrow I borrow your, your pen? pen? Okay, so don't say, don't say, can you borrow me the pen? Can you borrow me the pen? It's like saying, can you borrow me the pen? Okay, yeah, sure. May I borrow your pen? All right, if you say, can you borrow can your I pen? It's like you. saying, Puedes pedirme, puedes, puedes pedirme prestado tu mismo lapicero. All right, that's what you're saying if you say, can you borrow the pen, right? Can it's can I borrow, can I, can right? Can I borrow your pen? Why, right, what, if, what pen? if Jacqueline, right? What if Jacqueline is asking me for a pen, all right? So how would you ask that? Can I borrow your pen? Okay, uh, Jackie would tell me, right? Can I borrow your oh, pen, okay? Yeah. Or anything else, guys, whatever, <laughs> your backpack, whatever, okay? Mm -hmm. Can I borrow your backpack, backpack, etc. right? Can I borrow okay. any laptop? <laughs> all right, you can say, can um, all right, sure. but tell me, what can I borrow your jacket? <laughs> all right, very good. Can I borrow yeah. your jacket? Tell me, Patty. Teacher, and uh, I have used a uh, call. 
cold, cold you borrow. Cold, could, you could, not cold, cold. cold. Could. Cool, 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 you borrow. Yeah, I mean, you can, yeah, you can use other models, guys. Could you uh -huh. borrow? I mean, could I, not could you, could I? Oh, guys, oh, okay. The, the, okay, what I'm trying to teach you guys, this, forget about models, guys, okay? You can use any model. Would you mind borrowing, borrowing my, you know, borrowing, borrowing uh, your pen? Could you borrow your pen? Would you borrow your pen? Will you borrow your pen? I mean, you can use any, any model that you want, right? Any model, right. okay. But Thank what you. I want you to know is that the common mistake that we make, guys, is saying, can okay. you borrow me? This is incorrect, guys. This does not exist. If you say this, if you say this, all right, um, you're gonna be expelled from the United States, right? You're gonna be <laughs> deported, all right? Okay. So, can I borrow can I? your whatever, guys? Okay. Toxic, cause toxic is hard, right? Can I borrow your heart? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, right, can I borrow? Can I borrow your bike? Okay. So. This is like okay, so the person your cell phone. The, the okay, very good, okay, right? When you go no. to when you go <laughs> to so, when you go <laughs> it's toxic. When you yeah. oh the toxic, right? Right. Or when you go to soya, right? Right, can I borrow your cell phone? Okay, <laughs> morrow, right? Can I borrow your <laughs> can I borrow your cell phone morrow? <laughs> All right, very good. All right. Very good, guys. So um so who's the bar the, the person who asks guys is the person is the pronoun that you're gonna use, okay? So most of the times, guys, okay, you're never gonna use a other pronoun other than I, got it? So if yeah. it is too difficult for you to remember these guys, just remember one thing, always use I, okay? I, like you're not, like in conversations, you're not gonna say, oh, um, you know what, um, Alan is trying to borrow your cell phone. I mean, you can use that, right? You can say Alan is trying to borrow uh, Jocelyn's cell phone, for example, right? Or Elino is trying to borrow Jorge's glasses, right? You can say that. But in reality, guys, how many times do we say that? How many times do we ask things for other people? Even in Spanish, guys, right? You say, hey, prestame eso, prestame que, but you don't say, all right, hey, prestale esto a que loco, right? You don't say it like that, right? You say, okay. So, all right, so, all right, just remember, it's can I, could I, would I, right? It's just about you. <laughs> okay, so let's listen to the conversation and uh, bring up our conclusions, okay? Was that clear, guys? Yes. Hey, yes. Right. All right, very good. Attention, because at the end of the conversation, I will, right, I'll, I will play the video, guys. So don't worry. <laughs> Who's that girl? <laughs> Who, who's talking? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Now, what do I Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you. All done, what? Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe. Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Right Make sure to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. <coughs> Ready? Well done, guys. So, guys, so who was asking? Who was asking for the cell phone? Jenny. Jenny. Hi. Jenny. Jenny. Very good. Okay. Who was using the cell phone? Jenny. Jenny. Very good. Who is the owner of the cell phone? Richard. Yeah. Richard. Very good. How did Jenny ask for the cell phone? How? Can, can I borrow your phone? Can I borrow your cell phone to call my boss? Okay. So how can you tell me that she asked for Richard's cell phone? How can how can you say how can you say um, Jenny le prestó le pidió prestado el teléfono a Richard? How can you say that? Jenny. Borrow 
Jenny Borrow. His phone. No. No. Borrow. Jenny Borrow. Richard Cell phone. Richard. Richard Richard's Cell phone. Jenny Borrowed. Richard. Richard. Richard Cell phone. phone. Cell phone. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Good job, guys. Woo. Good, 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 good job. Okay, you understood. You got a 10. Very good. Okay, questions regarding this, guys. No. No, no, no. Okay. So, home, guys. Back home, okay. All right. She asks you some questions at the end, okay. Post your answers here. But back home, okay. It's just for you to practice, okay. All right. Very good, guys. So, now we are going to talk about the grammar topic, okay. Now, this one is, okay, this one is going to be the long topic, okay. Very good, guys. So, imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Okay, so first off, guys, what is an imperative? Who can tell me what an imperative yes. is? An imperative, guys. Okay, an imperative. Oops. Is a command. What is it? A command. Imperative. It's a command, guys. Okay, that is an imperative. Okay, so what is a command, guys? Okay, a command it's like is an order. exactly not asking for permission, right? All right. So that's it, guys. Okay, so it's it's an order. Very good job. Okay, a command sure. is an order. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, guys. Okay, so. We can also, all right, so the topic for today is that we can use commands, okay? We can use imperatives <coughs> for giving suggestions, okay? Or to give okay. suggestions, okay? All right, so it's not only like for commands, it's not like, like your mom throwing you the chancla, right? All right, <laughs> so you can also use it for, you know, positive, positive things, right? Very good, guys. So, uh, what is uh, what's, what is an imperative, guys? A command. Very good. An imperative a command, is a command. Not a command, a command, right? Remember the intonation, command. 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 Okay, command. very good. Commands. Okay, hold on, I'm trying to raise no this. No permission. No permission, right? Very good, very good, okay. I'm uh, sorry. What, what happened? Um. I want to take a picture. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm not <laughs> sure if I'm going to be able Sorry. to. Remember All right. To. All right. So, command. Actually, like this, okay? Imperative. Imperative. Exact command, okay? Teacher, yes, control, control plus plus zeta. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I, no, I, 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 I know. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, don't worry. Don't, don't no, worry. I got it, I got it, but okay. control C didn't work this time the, around. The, the teacher sharing in the group. The, the what? photograph. Oh, okay. Uh, so Jorge wants you to share the photograph uh, yeah. in the WhatsApp group. Thanks. Okay, that, very good. All right, guys, so, okay, so now, guys, so how do you, if I tell you, okay, if I tell you, close the door, is this a is this a command? Yes. Yes, yes guys. Okay. Close the door. Close the door. All right. All right. Sierra, that is a command, right? That is close an imperative. Okay. What is, the, what is the imperative here, guys? Close. Close. Close, right? If I tell you, could you please close the door? Is this an imperative? No. No. no, it's no. no longer an imperative, right? Because I'm asking you a favor, right? Very good. So, be sure to turn it on, okay? Now, if I tell you guys, be sure, right? Be sure. Be sure. Is, be sure to turn it on, sure. okay? To turn the be TV sure on. Turn the Is this an imperative? Yeah. 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 Yes. Be sure. Be sure to okay, turn it Okay, it is an imperative, but... Now, does it sound like a command? What does it sound like? So, guys, <clears throat> an imperative is like, <clears throat> I'm sorry. So, an imperative. <laughs> take the water or take the tequila. <laughs> take, take a shot of tequila right now. So, an imperative, guys. 
An imperative always sounds like a command, okay? All right, but it doesn't necessarily need, mean that it needs to be uh, something rude, okay? So you don't have to sound rude in order to, you know, in order for you to become an imperative, okay? I'm sorry, I was moving something. Okay, so you don't need to sound rude, guys, in order to, to make it sound like an imperative, okay? So if I tell you, be sure to turn it on, it is an imperative, but it does not sound like something, you know, it does not sound like I'm your dad, all right? It sounds like I'm giving an advice, yes or not? <clears throat> yeah. Does mm -hmm. it sound like an like does it sound more like an advice, guys? What do you think? They should. Yes, right? It's, it's sounds, like an uh, mm -hmm. advice. It's like an advice. Very good. However, in reality, it is a command, right? Why, guys? Because, <clears throat> because we start we start with a verb, okay? We start with a verb that declares a command, okay? So, all right, if I say, don't forget, okay? Don't forget, just by saying, don't forget, guys, is that an imperative or not? Not. Yeah, no. Yes, it is, guys. Yeah. I'm telling you, hey, yes. don't forget, okay? I'm don't not saying, forget. would you be so kind not to forget? Right? I'm, not tell I'm not asking a favor, okay? I am telling you, I am your dad, and I am telling you to not forget, okay? So don't forget. <laughs> Right, don't forget to dial the area code, okay? Or don't forget to, <clears throat> don't forget, <laughs> don't forget <laughs> to. Don't forget <laughs> Don't forget. No, they, 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 like the usual, right? Don't forget to. Don't turn off, forget your lunch. Turn off the, um, the turn stereo. off the stove because you know, the beans are there, right? We should say turn off the beans, right? But <laughs> but that doesn't exist, turn off the beans. <laughs> but we don't say this in, in English, guys, okay, right? Not be that pile of frivoli, right? Very good. <laughs> All right, so very good, guys, okay? So don't forget to turn off the TV, okay? <clears throat> Very good, guys. So don't forget to turn off the TV. Remember, this is a command, but it sounds like an advice, okay? So why does it sound like an advice? So guys, every time they use words such as be sure, okay? All right, let's do it down here, okay? So if you use, bless you, Jacqueline. If you use, oh, that, that, was, that was hard, okay? Be sure, if you use be sure. If you use don't forget. Make sure, make sure to write. If you use sure. remember, if you use try, try, try to or try not to, okay? So all of these guys are imperatives, but they are imperatives that work as suggestions, okay? They are imperatives to work as? Suggestions. Suggestions, okay? Todos son imperativos, todos son comandos, pero todos son comandos lindos, okay? Because at the, yeah. at the end, they work as, you know, suggestions, right? So they don't make you feel bad. It's just, you know, hey, be sure, you know, be sure, be sure to do your best in life, right? All right, so if I tell you, you know what? If, hey, uh, Jacqueline, be sure to do everything you can to, to be happy. Is that, does that sound rude? Or does that sound like an advice? It sounds like an advice. It sounds like an advice, right? Yes. But again, it is a command because, right? Be sure, right? Be sure. Yes. Right? Be it sure. is a command. So it's still, it is still a, a uh, an imperative, okay? Very good. So uh, next example, Jocelyn. Welcome, Jocelyn. I hadn't seen you. All right, Jocelyn. So if you say, uh, so let's read the, the following example, Jocelyn. Okay. Oops. Like this, oops, like this, no? Okay, there you go, huh? Okay, you, you are muted. Be sure to turn it on and don't forget to dial the area. The area code, okay? Be sure to turn it on, okay? Be sure to turn it on, don't forget to dial the area code. 
make sure to hit the end button, okay? Now, these are, okay, we heard this in the conversation, right? Yeah. Right. So, guys, if you want to sound polite, okay, all right? If you want to sound polite, okay, we can use, you know, uh, suggestions, okay? Right, you can, use, uh, you can use commands to make suggestions, okay? All right, remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long, okay? So, <clears throat> they don't sound rude. All right, is that clear, guys? Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, so this is what we're talking about, okay? So now, how do you do that, guys? Okay, the structure, okay? The structure is no subject, okay? So no subject, okay? You're gonna start with a verb and you're gonna use a complement, okay? So verb and a complement will give you a command, <clears throat> okay? If I say make your bed, now remember, imperatives are commands, right? Yeah. However, okay, if I say make your bed, is that a command for, is that an imperative for suggestion? Or what do you think? It's an order. Okay, it is an order, right? It is an order, it is an absolute order. So it is not, I am not giving you a suggestion, right? I am giving you an order here. If I tell you mop the floor, I'm gonna mop the floor. <laughs> all right? All right, all right. <laughs> all right, all right, you say, si, pa si patroncito, right? No, <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. Yes, master. All right, yes, master. <laughs> no. Mop the floor. Yeah. Yes, mister. All right, very good. Yes, okay, very good. Okay, so that, that, that is a command, right? So you don't want to use commands. So what you want to use are, you know, suggestions, right? Suggestions, all right? All right, is it clear, guys, the difference between, you know, giving a command as a suggestion versus giving a yeah, command as a, you know, as a command? I mean, giving an, uh, using an imperative, I'm sorry, using an imperative as a suggestion rather than using it um, as a command. Is that clear? Okay, very yeah. good, okay. All right, guys, so, so, um, we don't understand. Okay. Okay. Hey. All right, guys, so, uh, now, we can combine it, guys, with imperatives, okay? So, remember, what is an, I'm, I'm sorry, we can, com we can combine it with an infinitive. So, remember, what is an infinitive? Um... Two plus okay, two very good. Base it base. is two plus the two verb in base form, okay? Okay, so now remember, what is the structure for, a, for an imperative, guys? What a situation, uh -huh. English class. What is the structure for an imperative? Verb plus complement. Okay, it is the verb Bear plus... plus very good, okay, so it is the verb plus the complement, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, now we can use that plus an infinitive, okay? So remember, can you give me, guys, can you give me one of the phrases that you can use, one of the verbs, guys, or phrases that you can use as suggestions? Give me one right now, the ones that we've seen so far, guys. Read. What? Read. Read. Yes, I don't know. No, no, no. Okay. Um, what? What do I, you I, ask I, I want. I want an imperative. I want an imperative that sounds oh, less, like a suggestion. It's okay. It's okay. So we've we've seen a couple so far, guys. Imperative. Imperative for suggestions. Yes. Give me an imperative for suggestions. Remember, I I gave you a list, right, guys? I told you guys these are these are imperatives sure. that you can use. Okay. Be, okay. Be mm -hmm. sure, right? Be sure to turn off the TV. Okay, be sure. Okay, now, be sure we combine it, guys, with an infinitive. Be sure to turn off, right? So what is the imperative here? Be sure. Be, be sure. sure. Be, no, be sure, guys. No, be sure is the... the, be, the, sure the is be, I mean, be sure is... I mean, be sure is the imperative, yes. Imperative. Okay, and what is the infinitive? To, 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 to turn, turn off, off, okay, to turn off, okay, that's, be sure to turn off the TV, okay, very good, all right, let's go with another one, okay, so who can give me another one, 
let's not use be sure. Let's use another one. Don't forget to throw off your face. Very good. Okay. Don't forget. Again, don't forget. So we got we got the imperative and we need a we need an infinitive. What infinitive is, is this gonna be? Two. Two. Very good. Don't forget to. To what? To let get out the dog. To take the dog out, okay? All right, don't forget to take the dog out. All right? Beautiful, 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 okay? All right, so is this part clear, guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Hold on. All right, so moving on. Okay. This is the list of verbs again, guys, okay? All right, that will express suggestion, all right? So take a screenshot or, you know, I gave you the, the examples before too. I gave you the, you know, I gave you the verbs that will work as imperatives, but take a screenshot if you want, guys, okay? Because these are, you know, the ones that you're gonna use to make suggestions, okay? So after this, guys, okay, all right? So after this, remember, we have to use what? So we got the imperative here, okay? That's way too big. All right, so we got we got the imperative here. All right, plus what? Plus what comes? Okay, be sure, infinitive, okay? Infinitive. Okay, all right, so, all right, so be sure to all right, and a verb here to Very walk sorry. out. Be sure to walk. Be sure to what? To study. To study. Very good. Be sure to study. Mm -hmm. Okay. Talking. Be okay. Sure be sleep. sure to be sure to sleep. Be sure to to talk. Talking. Okay. Wow. All right. Not to talking. To talk, guys. Okay. No. To talk. To talk. To talk okay. Very good. All right, very good, guys. I yes. think I think that you guys are good with this. Uh, any question, guys? Any question about this? These are just examples, guys. So I'm not going through them because you're gonna give me examples right now. Any questions? No. All right, very good, guys. So um, what we're gonna do right now, guys, is that we are gonna solve the knowledge check in couples. Okay. All right. So 2.9, guys. Everybody. Go to 2.9 and let's solve the exercises here. All right. And then we're just going to do examples. So let's go. All right. Let's go, guys. <clears throat> Hello, good evening, Leo. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you, thank you. Okay. Todavía eh, trabajando. Ah, really? Oh, yes. Estoy oyendo las comunicaciones. Estamos en la policía. Or what do you do? Uh, I am programma, programma te, no, programma, eh, programador, uh -huh. SCADA. 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 Sí. Is C A D A. But in what, eh, I, I don't know, in what, what did you do there? What, what? I, I work in the. Are you work in the computer? Yes, yes. Program and something like that. I programs, yes. Ah, ah okay. okay. Interesting. In in the telecommunication, in uh, como como diría este en en dis dispositivos, uh -huh. breakers, eh, in the circuits. Ah, okay. Okay. I, are you engineer? 
Oh, oh no, no, no. Uh, no. Don't finish. Don't technical finish. In, in computer. Ah, uh, yes. It's the uh, only techniques, technical in electrics. Ah, okay. Electricity. Yeah. And two, uh, two, three, four levels. Uh, oh, sería uh, de, como grados uh -huh. de conocimiento de electricidad. Okay. Okay. Um, interesting. Uh, and you? No, I am an industrial engineer. Ah, okay. Uh huh. And, but I, I, uh, but I don't work in. Well, I, I work in insurance. Okay. Okay. I'm, ah, I'm okay. broker. Broker. Insurance broker. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that's why. Oh, interesting. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah. can you you have the the screen or that that the teacher i don't remember be sure i don't uh, i don't know how to to uh, obtain the information that the teacher source says that we have to practice um, uh, but i have a here for example uh, we practice in, in make a, in the imperative, in, in the imperative, for example, be sure, make sure, don't forget, remember, and try. And uh, we practice in that, uh, for example, give me an example about be sure, be sure. Okay, yes. Okay. Uh, um, Hello, guys. Uh, what happened? Uh, hello, teacher. Uh, we are confused. Summer. What we have to do? <laughs> you have to do to to do the exercise two point nine. To the platform. From the platform, yes. From not to from the platform. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. All right. Very good. All right, so I'm gonna check on the other guys. Guys, if you need help, let me know. Okay. All right. Hey guys. Yes. Hi, Mister. Hello, Hello, sir. How hey. are you? I can I can see you. Ah, right now. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> remember to brush your teeth. Just Remember to brush, before, good. Brush. to brush your teeth before you go to sleep. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to uh, or try to remember to watch an example where a command or demand. What is the difference between common or and demand? Do you know? Command and demand? I, I think it's the same. Um, well, a demand, I think it's more. Demand. A demand, demand is like. Like a direct. An obligation, <laughs> I would say. But we're not we're not doing I mean we're not studying the difference between a command and demand. We're studying the difference between a suggestion and a command, right? So uh don't worry about commands and demands right now. Uh it's suggestions versus commands. Suggestion is command. No, suggestions versus commands. Uh okay. Um, okay. Demand, demand is imperative, too. Uh, command is an imperative, yes. Imperative. Yes. Is the same yes. with the order, order. <laughs> yeah, an order is an imperative too, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, teacher, uh, there are uh, there are uh, more more imperative. Uh, and uh, be sure and remember don't forget uh, that there are a lot 
Yeah, every time that you start with a verb, if I tell you walk, that is a command, that is an imperative. Every time that you start with a verb, okay? So if you don't use a subject, it is an imperative. I, I can order verbs uh, with, uh, for demand. Yeah, for commands. Yes, you can use all verbs pretty much. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. All right. So yes, guys, you can use. Jacqueline uh -huh. is a, a, a little sick. In, a, li, a little sick too. <laughs> and you Jacqueline are a little sick too. Well, to be honest, I didn't. Put attention, you have, put a lot of attention at the class. Be, why? Because you're sick? I feel a, a little bad. Yeah, you look, you look, you look a little sick. Yes. You'll get better. Don't worry. I Jacqueline is, is a sore throat. <laughs> Jacqueline might have a sore throat. You're right about oh, okay. that. Okay, so I'm gonna check on the other guys, guys. But uh, did you finish the did you finish the exercise? Yes, I finished the exercise. Okay, very good. So we're gonna head back to the main room right now. All right. Okay. Good job, guys. Cool. Hello there. All right, guys. So it is almost almost time, guys. Um, if you didn't finish the exercise, guys, please do so. Okay. Um, so, guys, by before tomorrow, guys, I want you to have finished. Um, <clears throat> I want you to have finished number two. Okay. The section reason why, guys, is because we yes, section number two. Okay. Because we have to move on. This is a very short section, guys. So pretty much you only have this knowledge check which we have finished today. And the other one is, you know, a uh, reading exercise, okay? So the reading yeah. exercise, finish it at home. Send me screenshots and we're gonna start with section three tomorrow. If you have a question regarding this topic, guys, don't hesitate to ask me. Um, but guys, you have understood, I like it because I feel that you have understood a lot of this module, you know, a lot of this on this module. That is really, really cool. All right, guys. So it's it's time, guys. Do you do you have any questions, guys? Questions, questions, questions. No yeah. question. Very no. good, guys. Thanks. All right, guys. So I'll let you sleep, guys. Okay, it's been a long day. We have worked a lot today, guys. I know that you have worked a lot. So go to rest, guys. Watch watch a, you know watch a movie or something, and cool. enjoy your night. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Okay, everybody. Bye. 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 Very good. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Bless you. Bless you too, guys. Yeah.